This is like the worst intro ever. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new around here, my name is Michael, AKA Dr. Cellini. And today we're going to do something that a lot of you have been asking me about, surprisingly. I don't know why you all care about this so much, but I'm here for the people. So today, since I got a brand new iPhone 12 Pro Max Pro Max Pro, whatever it is, we're going to be going over all the apps that I have on my phone. Not all of them, only the apps that I use on a daily basis because if I did my whole entire application library, this would be like a 45 minute video. So let's go over all the apps I use every single day. Let's go. So like I already mentioned, I'm only going to go over apps that I use every single day. I use these apps pretty much constantly throughout the day. I'm always on my phone and in between cases, these are the apps I always look at to make sure everything is going smoothly in my life while I'm so busy. So there are a few different genres of apps that I look at every single day. Some of them are like finance related, some of them are productivity, some of them are social media, and some of them are basically just medical apps that I use daily. So I'm just gonna go down the list. I'll show you what my phone looks like on the screen and I'll show you exactly what I do. Okay, so the first app I use on a daily basis is something called Epic. So I use Epic or Epic Haiku, and that is my electronic medical record app that I use to access all of my patients throughout the day. It is the app that holds all of the information on my patients, and it's basically their medical charts. So when I get a call overnight or whenever when I'm not in the hospital, I pull up my Epic and I look at the patient's chart. The only thing I don't like about this app is that I can't see the patient's imaging, and that's arguably some of the most important data that I have access to, but I have to log on to my computer, which is kind of annoying. I used to use the same exact app at UNC, but I can actually pull up the imaging and just look at a CT on my phone. So they call me about a patient, I open the patient in the app, and I can literally just scroll through the CT to see what they're talking about, look up labs and all this stuff, and make a decision from my bed. I wouldn't even have to get up out of bed. Now I have to get up out of bed, come to my computer, log in, look at the images, look at the labs and all that stuff. So kind of annoying, but this is actually really good for just like roaming around the hospital. Uh, if you're looking up a patient as you walk from like one room to another, it's quick and easy, it's the way to go. So the second app I use on a daily basis is this VIP access or whatever, I don't even know what this is. It's basically a credential code, six digit code that changes all day long. Every time you log in, every 30 seconds, it's a different six digit code. So I use this when I am prescribing narcotics to my patients who have had a very painful procedure and easy to go home for the night. It's the only way they like double verify my identity. It's just like a safety precaution. I also use this to get certain access on things in the hospital as well. They may ask me, but this is what I use on a daily basis. So the next app I use on a daily basis is WhatsApp. That is our primary mode of communication throughout our entire interventional radiology department across four or five different hospitals. So we use this for everything. It's like an ongoing text message amongst like 50 or 100 people. Everything happens through this app. So between those three apps and this fourth app that I'm not going to open either, Either it's the bottom right as well. Any desk, that is our schedule. So this basically, this whole row down here is what I use every single day I'm at work. No ifs, ands, or buts. I use these multiple times every single day. So I will do a procedure, walk out of the procedure, usually look at Epic to get the patient's information. I'll chat to say that the room is done. And then I'll also get on any desk to look at the schedule to see my next patient and get the MRN or the medical record number to look up the patient on Epic. And then I'll also prescribe narcotics to the patient I just saw through the VIP access app. Did you get all that? <laughs> You guys are probably like, what the heck is he talking about? But just know that I use these four apps every single day as a doctor in the hospital. All right, so next up, we'll get into a little social media action here because obviously I use YouTube on a very regular basis. So I tend to upload stuff during the, in the community tab on the YouTube page, chat with you all, answer some questions, post some like teasers to upcoming videos and all this stuff. I think it's a cool way to kind of keep in touch with all of my subscribers. So if you ever have a question, sometimes I'll post on there a couple times a week. You can ask me a question there or ask me a question or whatever on one of my videos. I usually answer them within the first hour. So next to this one on the right is the YouTube Studio. I'm not going to enter this because there is some information on there that is for my eyes only, like all my analytics on my YouTube channel. So we're not gonna get into that today, but anybody who has a YouTube channel, this is a way to kind of edit your videos without being at a computer. You can also add keywords, look up revenue, see how your video is doing, respond to comments, et cetera, et cetera. This is an amazing app for YouTube creators. It still feels weird when I'm a YouTube creator. I like it though. 
All right, obviously next to that, I use the text messages because I mean, who doesn't text throughout the day? We don't have service in the basement of the interventional radiology floor, which is why we use WhatsApp to communicate with everybody in the department because it's Wi-Fi only. And it doesn't matter if you have an iPhone or an Android or whatever phone. Obviously I have Instagram next to that. So we're sensing a common theme here is that all of my most used apps are on the very first page of my iPhone. And this is my Instagram page. Obviously I'm on here a lot, post some stories here and there. And uh, yeah, if you're not following me on Instagram right now, what are you doing? I post, <laughs> that's kind of like mean right there. But you should follow me on Instagram because I do post cool stuff over there and I post some very educational worthy content over there as well. Much like I do over here, but I also post stories all the time and you know, all that stuff. So go follow me on Instagram. Also, while you're at it, go ahead and follow Andriana on Instagram as well. She's almost to 10,000 followers and we're getting there. And maybe we can convince her to start her own YouTube channel if we get the follower count up. She also started a TikTok as well, which was pretty cool, I might add. She posted her first TikTok today. And while we're on TikTok, might as well go to my page right now. And if you don't follow me on TikTok, I'm going hard on TikTok right now, like big, even more so than Instagram. I feel like TikTok is actually a pretty cool platform. I used to think it was pretty cringeworthy, just dancing and like all these young people dancing, but I actually, you can put out some pretty solid information on TikTok. So if you want to start following me over there, you probably should. I may actually start doing all of my, instead of doing Instagram live, I may do TikTok lives from here on out. So, and I'll just show up here and there and you can ask me questions because I kind of like that platform a little better, but don't tell Instagram. All right, next on my page that I use every single day is Lightroom. So I use Lightroom every single day to edit photos that I put on Instagram or YouTube or wherever I post these photos. I I just can't take a normal photo anymore. It has to be perfect now. You saw in my hobby video that I love photography and editing and all that stuff. So every picture I post, I edit before I post it. It's just, it's cool. I like, I like messing with it. So that's another app I use every day. Next is my Cellini's IR log. That is a friend of mine from UNC created that. I don't use this anymore, so I'm not gonna waste my time, but this has all of my procedures I've done for the last five years of residency. And all of those procedures are saved onto a Doodle Drive. It's just a way for me to keep track of like how many tips I've done or how many fibroid embolizations I've done and across the years. So I still keep that one, but I have a separate log for all of my procedures I've done in fellowship so far. Next, obviously, Robinhood. You know I love Robinhood. I'm not gonna open up my account there because obviously that's a little, uh a little sus. I have a separate account where I keep all my long-term stocks that I'm holding for many, many years, but I do use Robinhood for the occasional like day trades or whatnot, or just to have fun with. As you saw in my past video, I love day trading, but I don't have time to, so this is just a quick and easy way to see how the market's doing and make some trades here and there. And use the link in my description to sign up if you haven't already, you can get a free stock. And I do too when you sign up, so it's like a win-win. So the next app I have on my main page is Twitter. I actually don't use Twitter that often. Um, this is probably the first time I've logged on to Twitter in like two weeks probably, but I do use it occasionally to tweet out like cool cases we do at the hospital. Our program is really big on Twitter, Mount Sinai IR, and yeah, it's fun. We, we tweet good cases and stuff. It's more of like for doctors to talk with other doctors and see how everybody else is doing and the cool cases they're doing across the country. So in that respect, it's cool, but I don't really use it that often. Right, the next app on my page is Spotify. I obviously use this on a daily basis. What am I listening to right now? Let's see. I don't even know. I'm not gonna play it because I'll get demonetized, but I use Spotify when I'm walking to work. Listen to it there and back. I have a 22 or 25 minute commute walking every single day both ways. So always listen to Spotify or a podcast. So that's everything I use on the first page, which is obviously the most important apps. Other than that, I go to my last page and these are a few more apps that I use on a daily basis. One of them is Zoom because every single morning we have two lectures on Zoom. One is usually just like a vascular surgery lecture or some sort of board rounds, what we call it, where we share interesting cases from the day before. It's always over Zoom. Everything is done through Zoom these days. I missed the boat on investing on Zoom, which I'm kind of upset about, but nonetheless, Zoom is where it's at these days and I use it every single day. And then next to that is the final section of apps that I use. And these are just kind of like ordering apps that I use on a regular basis. It's like Grubhub. Obviously I use Grubhub to order food. So other than that, I use that app and then I changed the address on this one. So it's not gonna have my address on it. This is Drizzly, which I use every single week or so. You can order a bottle of whiskey straight to your door because this is New York City. So let's just do a little example here. We'll say I wanna get my favorite bourbon. 
Buffalo Trace, my favorite bourbon. Say I wanna get it to my door, I can pick which liquor store I wanna get it from and literally just order it straight to my door. It's $35, I think it's like a $5 delivery fee or something. It usually comes in like 20 minutes, which is crazy. So if we're making like margaritas with friends and we run out of tequila, we'll just order something on the app and it'll be here in like 20 or 30 minutes, it's crazy. Other than that, just a few more food apps I have here and that's pretty much it, honestly. So again, I'm sorry if this is boring for a lot of people, but so many people ask me to see what kind of apps are on my phone. So I figured I would just do this. These are my most used apps on a daily basis. If you want me to do an entire video devoted to just apps I use in medicine, let me know in the comments below and I think I can do that because I have a specific section in my phone for just medical stuff other than those apps that I showed you. As always, make sure you smash that like and subscribe button and follow me on TikTok and Instagram as well. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If I like them, I will respond to them. Otherwise, I will see you all on the next video.